Once upon a time, in a serene pond nestled within a lush meadow, a mother duck eagerly awaited the hatching of her eggs. One by one, the eggs cracked open, and adorable ducklings emerged, each fluffy and yellow except for one a large, gray duckling with clumsy feet and a misshapen bill. From the moment he hatched, the other ducklings mocked him for his appearance, calling him ugly and unworthy. Heartbroken and lonely, the ugly duckling wandered through the meadow, searching for acceptance and belonging. As the seasons changed, the ugly duckling grew, his feathers turning dull and gray, his size towering over his siblings. Everywhere he went, he was met with scorn and ridicule, his hopes for happiness fading with each passing day. Desperate for a place where he could belong, the ugly duckling embarked on a journey across the countryside, seeking refuge in the company of other creatures. But everywhere he turned, he was met with rejection, his differences marking him as an outcast. Through fields and forests, over hills and valleys, the ugly duckling wandered, his heart heavy with sadness and despair. But just when he felt he could go no further, he stumbled upon a tranquil pond hidden among the reeds. There, reflected in the shimmering waters, the ugly duckling saw his own reflection for the first time in his life. And to his astonishment, he no longer saw a clumsy, gray duckling, but a magnificent swan with feathers as white as snow and eyes as bright as stars. With newfound confidence and pride, the swan spread his wings and soared into the sky, his heart singing with joy as he joined a flock of swans gliding gracefully across the water. And as he joined them, he realized that he had found his true family the swans who saw him for who he truly was, not as an ugly duckling, but as a beautiful and graceful swan. From that day forth, the once ugly duckling lived happily ever after, surrounded by friends who cherished him for his inner beauty and strength. And though his journey had been filled with hardship and pain, it had led him to a place where he was loved and accepted just as he was, a reminder that true beauty lies not in outward appearances, but in the beauty of the soul.